Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we got another first look at some Black Ops 6 gameplay, this time focusing a bit more around the campaign, but gameplay nonetheless, featuring new weapons, different environments that we're probably going to have tie-ins to multiplayer with. Lots to break down from the footage that was shown. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're getting an actual campaign mission to be expected, known as Most Wanted, takes place in D.C., Basically, the whole setup there was saying that, hey, come check out COD Next and everything. But actual in-engine footage, of course, it's a stream, it's 1080p, it's only going to look so good online and much better in our hands. There's some knocked out guys just taking a nap. Hopefully they clocked out if they're sleeping on company time. So you're like undercover. Very uh, National Treasure vibes here from the one scene. We also going to steal the Declaration of Independence. I love the whole vibe here. It actually looks really cool. Are we actually stealing the Declaration of Independence or something of that sort? Smile for Instagram. So are we going to get actual like in-engine footage or just cinematics? Because this so far all seems to be cutscenes, I'd imagine. Taking pictures of everybody. We gonna have dirt on everybody. So maybe this is in in actual gameplay. Okay, yeah, it is. So you're actually using the controller here. So it's just the first person POV. Actually looks really good for that. Not the tomatoes. That's now the health inspector is going to be all up in here. Why are we taking pictures of everything? What is going on here? Oh, I see. You got to use the camera to get an... Okay, more sleeping on the job. We got to really hire some better guys. Okay, they all got taken out. So this is actually from the original uh, original direct gameplay. We saw bits of this uh, mission preview. So they got ambushed. Pantheon. So we're getting actual lore. And now we're rewinding? And this is actual gameplay. All right. So we've, again, seen bits and pieces of this from the direct and from that event. But now we're getting a deeper dive into straight up gameplay. I imagine they're going to show off some Omni movement here as well. They've got to, right? And Adler, of course, up to his old shenanigans. I'm sensing some tension, potentially. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Very dark. You don't get the full on, I feel like, overview of what the game looks like when it's just in dark, ominous places. Another thing that we got from the direct, a whole juggernaut walking out. This guy came prepared. That's a cool little transition. We got Omni movement. He dove backwards. Very cool. <laughs> I, when we get to actually use it in multiplayer, it'll be even cooler. Is this guy just shooting through bulletproof glass here? I really like the whole vibe of this mission where it's like the... Uh, bright red light flashing very periodically actually ends up looking sick there's a ton of music playing as well hopefully this isn't going to get copyrighted that would be mildly unfortunate we got the rcxd in the campaign there you go we've taken out the jug we got our kill streaks <laughs> in the campaign they do not like adler they want him out of here a little vibe here with all the rocks and everything on the side looks neat and of course, you got to take the hard way out. Can't just like dial up the old elevator support maintenance guy. The game looks great, though. Like I said, it's going to be worse in quality because it's a stream. It's only 1080p. It's whatever. But I mean, just the graphics alone already look fantastic. All the trailers and cinematics that we've seen so far have looked really good. But obviously, it'll be way different when we get our hands on it. We can tweak things, crank everything to ultra on PC. And of course, again, like I said, nothing can ever be easy. Ooh, there's quick time events. I'm so going to miss these in the campaign. I'm absolutely going to be looking at a Twitter notification or something or not paying attention. I'm going to miss those and fall all the way down. But of course, I'll edit those out because it'll just seem like a flawless run. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a plan B, C, D, four, and five. I'd imagine. We'll just take the scenic route. Let's get moving. And more rewind. What a weird way to like transition different parts. I imagine that's not the actual mission and that's just based around this gameplay trailer we're seeing now. If that's like the actual mission and that's the storytelling, that's really weird, but also kind of neat, I guess. But I'm assuming it's just based off of this gameplay trailer we're seeing. They're editing it to sort of mash it together. So you actually have a full interact menu within the gameplay. That's kind of interesting to select different things. I can't remember if we've had that before. More Omni movement. He dove sideways. Little like EMP stick takes out all their suits and everything. Got the exfil. He's Omni movement diving back behind the tables. That was so scripted. This is a sick animation. Is that actually something you can do? That's dope. And more rewind. And now we're on motorcycles. This has turned into dirt. I imagine you're just riding here. You don't actually get to drive. Watch the balloons. Those could be hazards. We're not wearing any helmets, I'm noticing. Another concern. They're just straight up dipping on motorcycles. Okay, that's sick, though. We've actually seen some screenshots of this mission, too, I think, from way, way back. Our first reveals. So now you're just driving motorcycles through Washington, D.C. Again, kind of getting national treasure vibes here because they did the same thing when they jump in the van and drive away. Watch out for street signs and posts. I don't think half these guys are wearing their seatbelts or street signs you didn't watch out for. They just have a whole crew ready up and out there to stop them. And then natural cinematic explosions fade to something else. So now we get more trailer footage. He was like brawling with them on the ground. Rapid fire punching. That guy is going to need to go to the eye doctor. Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Pre-order now. Gain early access. Are we going to get campaign early access details? Nope. Just beta previews. That's it. Is that all we get in here? I guess so. So obviously only a brief look at some of the mission that we got there, uh, but nonetheless, a cool new look at gameplay. We also get some new features revealed there with like the ability to scroll wheel through various different equipments in the campaign, seeing what some of those are a little bit more Omni movement in action. Truly, this is set up to be played in a very specific way for this trailer, of course, with a lot of scripted movement and various things like that. Come Call of Duty next here in just about a week's time, obviously. It's going to be much more raw footage, raw gameplay. I imagine in the coming days, we're also going to start to see some multiplayer reveals as well. So, of course, as anything gets revealed, as anything gets announced, this is the place to be to stay up to date with everything. We've got so much coverage coming up for BO6 and all the major reveals. So, stick it here by hitting that subscribe button and turning on those post notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on your way out as well. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.